Here are the top things I've learned recently using Synergy to set up my Zoom uh, classes. First of all, uh, when I'm looking at my home view here, normally you would see uh, students seated here. I've hidden them for privacy. Um, but what I'm going to focus on is the class focus up here uh, has these little icons for video cameras. Currently, I am in fifth period according to the time schedule. So that's the one that is lit up blue. Now, my eighth period and ninth period, those happen tomorrow. I'm on a split schedule. So uh, the B schedule happens tomorrow and those icons will appear uh, on the correct day. But right now, uh, during fifth period, when I click on this, it will start a Zoom that is currently already scheduled with my students. I didn't schedule it, it's auto scheduled. Now, when I click on that, what will happen is it'll pop up, it'll go through and it'll ask me to open up my Zoom and start my Zoom settings. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Now, when I go into my actual Zoom uh, interface here, you'll notice that even though I didn't even start that Zoom, period five, that session has showed up as one of my upcoming meetings. Uh, if I would have started it and actually not canceled it, I'd see a little record, uh, little uh, camera here showing that it's currently in session. Uh, I can actually go in here and edit things, uh, but this only gives you this option once you have already clicked on the little green uh, camera during the actual class session. So it doesn't really let you do it ahead of time. Uh, something else uh, I've learned here is over here on the video meetings, on the far right side, you'll see a little uh, link that says start class meeting. That only appears when one of these is highlighted green, one of these little cameras. Uh, so it is something that you can't do it ahead of time. And if I waited until later in the day, uh, none of these cameras would be lit up and this little link would disappear. So this uh, clicking on this link on the right, start class meetings, X essentially the same thing as clicking on this camera here that is green. Uh, underneath the video meeting link, also these four items, uh, you have four options. Meeting setup, when you click on it, it will bring up a uh, scheduling a meeting uh, option here. And this will show you two different things. Number one, ones that you have actually scheduled. Uh, and then also meetings that somebody else has scheduled, but they've included you in. So if I wanted to schedule, uh, let's say, a meeting with my one of my counterparts in the computer department, I would sk click schedule a meeting. <clears throat> It would pop up. Uh, I can say, uh, you know, computer department meeting, and I can either say I want it right now, and it'll just pull the, the time and the date, or I can schedule it in the future. Uh, down here, I'll click the two, and it gives me a large list of who it is that I can uh, invite. If I click the little magnifying glass right here, I can search specifically for my counterpart. and she will appear and it will then add her name in there. Now, uh, once I click OK here, <clears throat> it's gonna do two things. Uh, as soon as I click send meeting request, it's gonna shoot her a little email uh, saying, hey, there's a, a meeting ready to happen with along with the details. But also what it's going to do is add it to my list here of um, meetings that are scheduled. Now, I, since I said right now, it's uh, not in the future, I can click this start and start it right away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that, but that's essentially how the meeting setup works. Now, what's also interesting is since this is actually synced with Zoom, since I clicked meeting setup, I'm going to switch over here to my Zoom and refresh it. <clears throat> and I should see that meeting that I just created, the computer department one, now pops up and populates as one of my upcoming meetings. So uh, your Zoom interface, which by all means you shouldn't actually need to go into because Synergy is kind of doing this all behind the scenes for you. But if you wanted to get in and change some uh, settings, uh, for example, for this meeting, I could go ahead and get into edit and change some of those settings uh, for that particular meeting. That is meeting setup. Now, uh, underneath quick start, what this will do is whatever view I'm in, uh, if I, again, I go up here, I am currently in fifth view, but fifth period, but right now I'm looking at my first period class. Uh, if I went into video meeting and clicked on now, what it will do is it'll automatically populate that with all of my students from this class and send out an immediate meeting request 
uh, to all of them. Uh, schedule works the same way as a meeting setup, but it's more for students where it will automatically dump this class's worth of students into that scheduled meeting. And again, it will appear in my Zoom meetings, but I don't need that to. Uh, the power of doing it be in synergy is that uh, number one, it'll pull all of your students from this one class, so it automatically invites them. And number two uh, is this view. When you are looking at uh, the Synergy system through the student view, uh, this is what they see. And if you schedule your Zoom meetings through Synergy, uh, the students' screens will be populated with links to be able to go right in there, uh, whether it's underneath their homepage with their scheduled meetings. Uh, over here on the right side, they'll have a calendar where all of the meetings from all of their teachers uh, will appear, uh, and they can even go into their class schedule and it will allow them to join those meetings. Uh, my suspicion is that those are those pre-scheduled meetings that are uh, linked right here to your class schedule. Okay, uh, And then finally, just as a little uh, kind of a bonus feature here is select students. If you click on select students, it will pull open uh, your student list here of all your students' pictures if I had them in here. And I could click on individual students and either click start meeting or schedule meeting. And it will, again, populate that meeting with only those students and send that out to them. And it will post it in their meeting list uh, as shown here. Uh, again, if I um, need to do that with small groups within the, the class, if it's a, a study group after school or whatever the case is, this is a nice, quick, easy way uh, within this one class, click select students rather than going and doing a meeting setup where you're having to manually type in student names. Uh, there are other options within meeting setup. Obviously by class, you can invite your whole class or certain parts, but uh, a lot of different options. Uh, and that is really the reason to do this through Synergy uh, is that it populates it it creates it within your Zoom session, and it also appears within your students' uh, schedule so that they have a one-stop shop for all of their Zoom sessions in one spot.